Hey there, Caleb Logic of DIY Video Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about three cameras I recommend that are around $1,000 that are good for either vlogging, YouTubing, or if you're a filmmaker. I'm talking about this because I got a question from Phil Ebner for the Ask Leb series. You can ask your questions on Twitter by just using the hashtag Ask Leb. Film a video of yourself asking a video question, and I'll answer it here on the show. So Phil's question is about what camera he should switch to for a certain budget, and let's go ahead and listen to it. Hey Caleb, I got a quick question for you. So I've had the Canon 7D for a long time and I use it for all sorts of things from online videos, wedding videography, documentary, and photography. But I'm looking to upgrade or just switch over to something that better suits my needs. My question is basically for around $1,000, what's the best option that I can get right now? I like the 70D or the 80D which has the revolving screen. Not sure if I should just pick up an older 70D or maybe there's another option that you consider uh, that I should consider that is kind of all around a great camera, but also specifically good for online video. And so, yeah, I'm open to anything. I do have Canon lenses, but I'm open to switching to Sony or something else. And I just wanted to get your opinion. Thanks a lot. And I look forward to your answer. Thanks so much, Phil, for asking that question. Phil and I have done a little collaboration on my channel for After Effects, and I did some videos for his channel as well. So Phil's a friend of mine, and I know that he shoots some pretty good videos on the 7D, but it is limiting. It doesn't have an articulating screen, which is really helpful when you're filming yourself, and it is a little bit older, so maybe it's not shooting in 4K or able to have some of the better autofocusing features. So I'm gonna break down three different categories for cameras that I would recommend for vlogging, YouTube, and filmmaking. So first one up is vlogging. The needs of vlogging are typically to have something small that you can travel with all the time, as well as be able to flip the camera uh, LCD back towards you so you can see what's happening. So I like the Sony RX100 Mark IV. I've been using this for about a year now. Uh, it shoots in 4K. It's not really stabilized when you're filming, so you have to be aware of that. but this thing is really powerful for $1,000, and I end up taking it when I go to conferences and things like that to do some vlogging. Now, Canon also has a G7X. It's another good option for a little bit less money, and you just don't get 4K with that. Now, going into YouTubing or you know talking in a space like this, maybe you do a little vlogging, but you're in a controlled environment, you've got the camera on a tripod, and you're talking to it. I really like the 70D. Even though the 80D is out, I did a full video review of that, but the 70D is still a really solid option. This is a 60D I've had for four, five, six years now. And the best thing about this is the articulating screen, so you can actually see yourself when you're filming, whether that's vlog style or on a tripod. And the 70D has really good autofocus. So if you have an older Canon camera and you have a bunch of lenses, the 70D will do really good autofocus. So I recommend that camera for someone that wants to, you know, do some YouTubing or maybe they're shooting online course videos or something like that. Now, if you're going into filmmaking, my camera I recommend there is the Sony A6300. This is a thousand dollar camera that is a mirrorless camera. And it really is like a baby version of the A7 series cameras, like the A7S II, the A7R II. And it shoots really, really good looking video, shoots in 4K, has a lot of options with different Sony lenses now, the more of them that are coming out. And I really like that camera for the price point for someone that wants to do a little bit more cinematic storytelling as opposed to talking to the camera. Now you can get a camera like that for vlogging, a camera like that for YouTubing or in a studio environment. You're not gonna get that screen that flips back towards you, but it's still a solid option. Now those are all based on cameras at exactly $1,000 or less at the time of making this video in June of 2016. But if you're willing to spend a little bit more, you could get into different camera manufacturers. You could go GH4, Panasonic. You could go the A7 series with Sony. You could go RX10 Mark III, which is a camera I just recently got that has a built-on lens and shoots really stabilized, solid 4K footage. So there are a lot of options. There's always going to be the video gear reviews on my channel as I test out different things. But as it sits right now for $1,000 and those three purposes, those are three cameras I recommend. So thanks so much for the question, Phil. Remember, if you guys have questions, you can use the hashtag AskLeb. 
and I will answer them on this show. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later.